Good evening. I am a tattoo tiger kitty. Let the wisdom of the tattoo tiger guide you through this tutorial. I am a very wise tiger. I am one with the cherry blossoms. Now the tiger portion of this tattoo is referenced directly by Valerie Vargas's tattoo. Work. Not her tattoo. Maybe it's on her, I don't know. And everything else is just the flow of the tattoo. All the products that you say be listed somewhere around the video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by drawing the tiger's face on my face using an eyebrow pencil. And during the whole time I'm referencing a photo, which I will link below. I'm using white body paint to fill in all of the white areas. I'm then going in and just doing a little bit of shading using purple eyeshadow in the mouth type area and then filling in the nose using pink body paint. Taking blue body paint, I'm then going in and shading the eyebrows as well as part of the beard. I don't know if tigers have beards, but they do now. Going back to the white body paint and then filling in all the teeth and then going in using yellow and shading that. Also don't forget about his bottom teeth. Fill in the mouth using red body paint. Be sure to kind of separate between the mouth and the tongue or else you're gonna end up getting lost. You can then go back in and fill in the center using black body paint as well as shade underneath the tongue. To keep everything separated and highlighted, and then going in using white body paint, highlighting the tongue as well as the sides of the mouth. Fill in each side using black body paint, and then outline using a pink body paint for the gums. Right now I kind of look like an evil rabbit. Happy Easter! Fill in the eyes using yellow body paint, as well as shade with a little bit of green eyeshadow. You can then go ahead and use red body paint to fill in the tear duct and the other side. You can then fill in your face using a dark burnt orange type color that matches my hair. Beautiful. Just so I'm not trying to highlight around the black stripes, I'm first putting down all of the white stripes and all of the highlights and the whiskers. Going off of the reference photo, I'm also filling in the tips of all the whiskers with red. The most satisfying part of this tutorial, outlining everything. Add your pupils carefully. And the nice thing about this tutorial is because your eyes are actually open and your eyes are painted on above your eyes, you're still actually able to see your pupils with your eyes open so you don't end up looking crazy. I then just went ahead and shaded around the stripes and everything using black eyeshadow. There's really no reason for this other than I wanted to. And I also added sideburns. Cherry blossoms are extremely easy to add when referencing like old tattoos. I'm first putting down yellow body paint for the center, then filling in all the petals using white, then going back in and adding pink to the sides and fading it into the center. And just to give it a little bit more fading and a little bit more color, I went ahead and added pink eyeshadow on the tips as well. Go ahead and outline all of your cherry blossoms using black and fill everything else in black. Using white body paint, I then went back in and added that cloud-type pattern throughout the entire black section. 